My first ever BMX contest uh, happened at a vert ramp. Uh, the vert ramp was very narrow. One side, it had like a switch that we called the toilet. And then the other side is where you could actually stand. And I was trying to win against this other guy that was a local. We both rode vert at that time. Uh, I think my last trick was half a bar spin, just half a bar spin air. Uh, lost control, shot to the side of the ramp, landed on a bunch of people, everyone dead. Guts everywhere, ribs, fucking disgusting. But I'm alive. And I got second at that contest, unfortunately. What's your favorite Camacho memory? Well, we was at Balti Games and it was funny. So the results was kind of weird, but it was fine. And we are going to elevator. And so I supposed to be, that was my thought. I supposed to be on a podium and he was on a podium. So we was going to elevator and he said, you amateur, me professional. I was like, looking at him weird. I'm like, what? Yeah, yeah, bro, you tricks, me flow, my bro, you amateur. And then a few years later, I won the World Cup in Chengdu and he's like, bro, bro, you professional now. So I think he remembers that too. But yeah, that was kind of a funny story with him. There is more, but I don't think they're for public. <laughs> Another funny story, I was traveling around Europe. I had a layover in London, pretty routine layover. Uh, but this time was different because I shop on literally the most cheap airline websites humanly possible cheapo air platinum member by the way uh this time i had to collect my bag and change airlines it wasn't really a big deal i had done it before in london pretty big airport i had plenty of time i wasn't sweating it um so i get off the flight in london i go and collect my bag go to the check-in desk and it was premier air and I never flew them before, a pretty budget airline, but my flight was to Washington, D.C. I get to check out and it gets delayed. Again, no problem. These are things that I'm sure you're all familiar with happens. And it gets delayed again and again. And it was probably like six hours later, they went on the intercom in the airport and said that the flight is canceled due to Premier Air going out of business. I literally can't make this up. I had been in Europe for like five months. I just wanted to go home. In my last flight to home, the damn airline goes bankrupt on me. No money back. I lost that flight, had to buy another one, had to change airports in London at 3 a.m. I thought I was gonna get shanked. This whole time, I just, is like, this is the worst thing. Uh, but apparently Premier Air got sued over this. I never saw any of the money. I emailed them. I didn't get nothing back, probably because they're bankrupt. I ended up in America like 15 hours later than I should have, but you know, I made it. Thankfully, I was able to change flights and change airports.